have done this egg cleanse before uh, but a lot of people are still saying uh, please review the video review the video that they don't understand or i didn't explain it so i thought i did i don't understand so that they don't understand <laughs> so i'm here to do it again this is a very effective egg cleanse it's not the type that you do you go and sleep and be waiting for results you wait and wait and wait no this is instantly instantaneously you go to see and you go to manifest for your life but it works with your energy we are what we believe if you don't believe do not waste your egg just keep your egg in your house don't eat it don't even bother to go and break your egg and waste it this works immediately like you will come back definitely to thank me egg is a very 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 has a very powerful spiritual component i don't know if you know it is this egg egg is fertility do you understand now what you do is if you're living in a compound in the house that you own then you just do it in your compound if you are living in a public house i'll tell you what to do after i finish um, explaining the um, the cleanse properly now get if if you have if you notice that you have this your aura is so bad like you can't attract anything good it is difficult like where people go to succeed you go there to fail it is so difficult for you to attract something good like you go for job interviews they will not give you but they will give the people that are under qualified you that you are qualified or even over qualified you will not get the job visa you will not get mm, financial help you know like there is nothing positive that is happening in your life and then you sit down you know that there is something wrong with you you know that there's something pulling you back you know that there is this force that is pulling you back but what you don't know if is if the force is coming from you or if it's coming from another person that you are associating with or it's coming from something that you might have done in the past or it's coming from family friends like it's coming from your environment it's coming from where you live because what a lot of people don't know is that where you live can either make or break you ask anybody you see where you live can either you can move into a house that your proper uh, prosperity will go from zero to hundred you can move into a house your prosperity will go from hundred to zero you start selling properties you start growing so where you live can either make or break you so if you notice all these things and you notice you are a girl you've come of age every time relationship problems you know you are a good person you know you are trying your best you know you are doing everything in your means no be you bad person now girl no be you was pass no be you your like no be you do pass you get so why is everybody achieving something that you can't even achieve this cleanse is for a specific purpose it's not like you're cleansing your entire life like it is not a major ritual it's a very minor ritual that will impact that will be impactful in your life that you will see the results immediately it is not something it is not a liberation ritual it's not a progressive ritual it's not like a, a fortification ritual of any type no it is just a minor ritual of cleansing it is not fetish it is not evil we eat egg do you know that most of in fact 90 percent of the spiritual materials that people used to work that your spiritualists your dbs your affairs your imams your whatever your pastors used to do spiritual work for you are edible items they are items that can be cooked they are items that can be eaten they are items that we use in our kitchen most of them some people go bloody but i don't i don't like that type but even in the bloody they kill chicken chicken you eat it they kill goats goats you eat it so most of the animals they still use for your sacrifice which i don't support you is something that you still cook and eat so 90 percent of this spiritual item it means that what we eat actually have a lot of spiritual component but we do not connect to it in the right way we do not connect to it in the positive way we overlook we over we undervalue things that you are doing business every time you lose one contract or the other you that you are like people are owing you so much you started this business with a good vibe but you're running into like people are holding your money left right and center now if it's so if someone is owing you and has refused to pay you can also do this there's see there are two things involved with someone that's owing you for one the person might not have the money the person is feeling bad that they are owing you but they don't have money to pay back they are struggling to meet up they don't even have that one is understandable but if you know that this person has the money but it's just forming boss for you like there's nothing you can do you cannot collect your money back and you've been telling the person pay me my money that you owe i know you have this money pay me even if you want to be doing instrumentally even if you want to be paying 
gradually. Just give me my money and they are forming like this. Do this as long as you know the person's name. As long as you know this person's name. The person will have heat. Like the person no go fit sleep until they transfer your money. Like it will be like fire is burning on the person's body. Like heat everywhere go they sweat until they pay you back your money. If the person doesn't have money and you are just wasting your time doing this and calling the person's name because what? Well, you have the heat and just trickle the person's problem like ah, I, you be in their mind like I want to pay this person but what can I do but no money? Do you understand? Get an egg. It doesn't matter which egg. Better brown egg, white egg. You hold the egg like this and then don't cleanse like this when you do like this yeah you're taking everything back in no you have to you have to pull it out like this you have to you know cleanse off you are putting it back in like this just cleanse off do this thing while you're doing it you have to be making positive declaration you have to be saying things use your right hand do everywhere remove all of them down to your toe then use your left hand the same thing the same way down to your toe when you finish you take off your ear your face everywhere take off your head roll around your head take off them make sure that you roll it around your, your head is like the last place when you're done with every part of your body your head even your stomach you understand your stomach you cleanse cleanse off everything cleanse it off cleanse it off when you're done your head is the last you rub it on your head and then you roll it around your head three times while you're doing this thing it is important that you're calling names you have to call your name whatever ritual you're doing whether major or minor has to start with your name you call your name call your full name if it's someone that's owing you call your name first and then call the person's name if you're going for a job interview like you have a job interview tomorrow do it like today when you are doing it call your full name call the job that you're going for you are qualified this is not if you're not qualified for the job don't go and deceive yourself and be doing a clean that name of the job the position you're applying for everything do it then go for your job interview tomorrow it is not only about job interview any kind of interview at all that you know even if it's that you know you have all the documents ready you have your qualified because sometimes in a bad luck you go qualify for something you go there they will not give you You'll be wondering what other information do i need to bring i brought everything what is happening now bad luck ocho ocho bad luck it's following you so cleanse this thing and go again you see immediately you get it i am not doing this for you nobody will do it for you nobody is saying anything for you you are the one doing it yourself you are cleansing all this thing away from you you are taking the whole thing into your hands this life as it is is very rugged and only the rugged can take it by force do you understand everything may be spiritual problem everything is not please somebody's chasing me in my village help me save me from no no sometimes do your work yourself sometimes take the power into your own hands and connect to your elements connect to your spirit guides connect to your positive nature your positive side because every human being has the negative and the positive side of them connect more to the positive side and then you see how this will work well for you when you're done cleansing break it just smash it on the ground after smashing you pull down and pack all the like pack the shell and go and throw it away clean the egg go and throw it in the dustbin and walk away but if you're living in a public house you cannot go out to do it in your compound because everybody will start looking at you like what's in this one they do what's in this one they talk break egg you know how the human mind can be somehow they start they'll just they attribute everything like they see you holding egg when i egg with they, they'll start seeing it as fetish you are diabolic you're this you're that do go to your bathroom after when you're done you can do it in your room your pal anywhere you know you can have privacy nobody is disturbing you when you finish doing it yeah you take it you get the bowl the plates go into your bathroom use your thumb use your this thumb to crack it pour the content pour the egg inside the bowl put it pour it into your toilet and then flush it put some water into the plate rinse and flush then take the eggshell and go and throw it into the dustbin that's all you need you're going to thank me later now if you want to if you want if you want it to be more kajad more more kajad when you're done eh look for someone and put a smile on their face no matter how small 
like when you're done just water your ground no matter how small you say you don't have money you don't have god bless you so that you start giving no we are not talking god bless you start giving give with you are breathing you're living you're surviving on something let that small even if it's 200 naira, 500 naira, 1000 naira. let's sow a seed like water your ground do something like just to make it kajad kajad you come back to thank me definitely now another thing is if you think this is evil if you think it's fetish you think angela don't come again with this uh, juju you think it's calm you think it's fake don't do it don't bother doing it because you can't be thinking all those things and still go and carry your egg and waste you are deceiving yourself if you think it's all this and more please don't do it but if you do it with a good heart believe it that it will work for you it will definitely work for you guaranteed see you come back to thank me later. The first time I did this video was February of 2022. Hi! People dash me mula tire because it was back to back. It was when no, when no dash me mula still come with praises. Some people were like, ah, ah, that thing that I've been looking for, some good job. Like, what's it happen? Now only you bad pass. Why everybody go to succeed? You don't go to succeed. You see these five fingers? They are not equal, yes. But why do you have to be the smallest finger? Even the thumb is bigger than this one. Why, do you, why not be the index finger? Middle finger. They are, like, do you understand? Why do you have to be the smallest finger? Out of the five fingers and you're consoling yourself with all fingers are not equal. All fingers are not equal. I refuse. I cannot even be the middle finger. I cannot even be the index. I'm being this one because this is the superior. The thumb is actually the superior of all the fingers because it's number one. You can't count your fingers. That's starting from one. Do you understand? This is the fifth, the last finger. Why do you have to be the smallest finger? Ask yourself this question. You thank me later.